Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today it's smoka fried wings. Stick around. <laughs> So today we're going to do lemon pepper smoka fried wings. And basically what that means is we're going to hit it with uh, some Kingsford uh, lemon pepper rub that I got today. Uh, we're also going to take these wings and put them on the smoker. So we're going to get some cherry uh, chunks going. It's going to give it a good smoky flavor along with that lemon pepper flavor. And then we're going to get some oil going. Uh, we're going to get that oil to about 350 degrees or so. And at the last minute, we're just going to take the wings, dunk them in that oil just to get the skin nice and extra crispy. It's going to be great. All right, folks. So what we have here is just some regular Tyson chicken wings. Um, I like buying these. They're not the party size. They're a little bit bigger. Um, they, they cost less than the typical uh, ready to go party size chicken wing. One of the reasons is because you have to do a little bit of work. You have to cut that section off right there. You don't have to, but for presentation purposes, we're gonna do that today. Today, we're also going to be using some Kingsford uh, lemon pepper all-purpose seasoning. It's supposed to have like a little bit of that Caribbean citrus flavor, uh, as you can see on the bottle. So uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, to get the job done with this, I certainly recommend a good meat cleaver or a heavy knife that you can chop down on. Um, you also wanna make sure that you have a pretty sturdy cutting board as this can be a little bit dangerous. You don't wanna chop a finger off. I happen to like this Ui brand. Uh, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, I can put a link to, the, to, these, uh, to this brand in the description box below. So let's get started. And you don't have to get rid of these guys, just use them for chicken stock. So there we have a pretty good little uh, flat and pretty good little drumette. And we'll just do that to the rest of these guys. All right, folks, so we got these uh, chicken wings all butchered up. So let's hit them with a little bit of this rub. Pat it in. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this. That rub's a little more powdery than I expected. That's all right. It smells awesome. All right, let's hit these guys again with this Kingsford lemon pepper rub. Be a little more careful this time. All right, looks good to me. Don't wanna overdo it. Okay, now that the uh, chicken wings are good and seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the old Blaze Kamado, but first we gotta get that thing cranked up to about 290, 300. We wanna roll pretty hot and fast on this cook. Right, we're gonna roll with some oil. oil. <laughs> Can't talk, what's wrong with me? Okay, we're gonna roll with some royal oak lump charcoal. That's... That's about all we need. As you can see, I banked all this charcoal over to one side. Uh, we're gonna do an indirect cook today. And uh, next we gotta get this thing fired up. First you gotta pull the pin on these. Grenade! All right, we'll let those uh, grenades do their thing and we'll be back. Okay, somehow I lost the audio. So uh, what we have here are a few chunks of cherry wood just went ahead and threw those on to the uh, existing ignited coals. Shut her down, and uh, we let this guy rock and roll until we got the smoke that we wanted. Okay, so here we're just adding the uh, chicken wings onto the grill. The fire, as mentioned and referenced before in the video, is towards the, uh, the hinges on the lid. So we're trying to keep these chicken wings kind of away from that fire, so this is called indirect cooking, as most of you know. Um, this allows us to not overcook the chicken wings, basically, uh, because if you go right above the fire, sometimes it can, you know, burn the outside of the chicken wings without uh, actually cooking the inside, and that becomes a problem. All right, these wings are ready to be pulled. They're smelling delicious, so we're going to take these off and put them off to the side. 
on a cutting board. And uh, our next step is gonna be to get this uh, cast iron skillet that we have filled with uh, cooking oil onto this hot uh, grill and get the oil up to about 350 degrees and flash fry these guys. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to have sauce with my wings. So I'm gonna use some Frank's Red Hot and just some regular old ranch. Kind of an eyeball measurement of that much ranch, this much Red Hot. Mix it. We're gonna go ahead and dunk these chicken wings in as oil. Let those go for just a little bit on each side. You don't want to do this too close, so be sure and use some tongs. Because that oil will jump up and bite you. That is also one of my favorite sounds. Man, that's really hot. Let's go ahead and give these a flip. This channel isn't here to make you healthy, it's to make you cook good food. I missed that one. Did I miss that one? I don't know. Flip it anyway. Okay, so you know the drill. We're just going to repeat that process with the remaining wings that we have, and we'll see you back at the cutting board. Okay, folks, I'm really excited about this. The cherry smoke was awesome. We had the perfect temperature with the oil. These fried up perfectly. They're beautiful. We got our sauce here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of do one of these deals. Just kind of drizzle it on there. Don't want to overpower the lemon pepper and the smoke and all the other flavors we got going. So we're just going to do this nice and gentle. And we'll roll with that. Of course, I got veggies. Those of you that know me know I love vegetables. Let's see how this tastes on even this. It even makes celery good. All right, folks, I'm a flat guy. I don't know, I'll go back and forth. Check this out. Uh, we'll use this. Can you hear that? Crispy. Holy crap, that's good. Hey, what more do you want? Crispy, peppery, lemony. Then you got your sauce right here, your mixture, your mixture of uh, Frank's and uh, ranch. Excuse me, folks, I'm hungry. Don't mind me while I eat on camera. So, hey, this is super easy, inexpensive. I think I spent like eight bucks for these wings. It's enough to feed. Well, with sides and stuff, you probably feed two. But if you're really hungry, just one. Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q where whiskey and barbecue meet. Uh, if you don't mind, if you like this content, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It helps this channel out a lot. And uh, I have some shirts and hats and that kind of thing. I'll put that in the description box below as well. We'll see you next time.